Hi, welcome back. We just did the uh, one year aged 1050 by Oscar Blues. One year old today. It was canned. I gave it a nine. I gave it a six. Which uh, I gave it a five last time I reviewed it. Uh, alcohol is not there. Really extra creamy. He didn't like it because it's made his mouth water. Made him feel, feel like he was in the Brookback Mountain episode or something. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to do uh, this uh, Hell Yeah here. It is 5.5%. Uh, the Healy's style. The Healy's. Who makes this? Uh, well, look Line and Googles. Line and what? Line and Googles. Oh, Line and Googles. You got huh. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. That's what's holding the camera up. Oh. Well. Be right back. <laughs> and welcome back. Alrighty. We're gonna give it a try. This should be a Healy style buck. Which uh last Healy style I had was uh Andy Gator by uh Line and Kugels? No. A Beta. A Beta Indigator, and it was tastes like rotten vegetables. <laughs> smells like beer. Don't smell like a bot, though. It smells like a sweet vegetable beer. Kind of bitter zippy. Dry on the end. Very, but like a dick covered in dirt. <laughs> Which, as you can definitely see, it is not very uh, dark at all. <laughs> For Linda Kugels, I'd rather. Have the sunset weed or snowdrift vanilla porter, something like that. This is a ballpark beer. Yeah, Get a little bit more of a dryness than Budweiser. I, I'd actually rather have a Budweiser. Yeah, but you know, it's a, definitely a beer that you could uh, you can drink. I mean, like I said, the last thing I had that was a. Healy's was that Healy's double bog and it was awful and I'm glad this doesn't taste like that and remind me on the next video I'm going to aim this thing down a little bit oh I see it's like tits up on you <laughs> well, I took the shoes off I dropped three inches <laughs> ducks aren't very big <laughs> I think we'll go good with it. Another kind of another beer. <laughs> I guess. No, uh, it's. Oh, there's no alcohol taste to it. There's no. I don't really get a taste out of it. I get a mild sweet vegetable and dry bitterness. I mean, really, what I'm getting if you want to get drunk. This is a beer you can slam and do, but not for the price. <laughs> Kids. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go ahead and rank this. Alright. I know. I want to know. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna give it an eight. Um because it's not a bad beer. It's not strong. Not a whole lot of taste in it, but you know, this is something I would drink. You know, on occasions. So that's what I'm gonna give it. Um, what killed it for me is the dryness in the end, and uh, I give it a five because there's a lot of other beers. I'd rather have a Honey Brown. I'd rather have Health. Cheaper. You could get 
six six pack, six 16 ounce cans of Rolling Rock. I'd rather have that. Really? Yeah. Mm. I'm going to pee in a cup for you. I'm gonna go that I've had Rolling Rock before. You like Rolling Rock? <laughs> no. I think, it, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, that's just a slam beer. Huh? I mean, it takes me a couple days to drag out a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sweet vegetable into a bitter dryness. A little bit more bitter than a, a Budweiser, not quite as bitter as a PBR. Yeah. Yeah. Give that. Got a good mouthfeel. Yeah. Not too thin, not too watery. It sure ain't no motor oil. <laughs> no. But there you go. Good to see you.